Okay, great. So let's go ahead and kick off. Very excited to have um, a fun and lighthearted topic for today's webinar. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Amy Morgan and I organize our programs at the Winter Park Chamber of Commerce. We are thrilled today to have Chelsea Highland with us on our Securing Your Business webinar series. We've been holding this webinar um, just about every day since we went into the stay at home order and we're excited to bring you not only um, fun and interactive topics as we have today, but also serious topics that help you really secure your business through this pandemic. I, as I mentioned, I am absolutely thrilled to have Chelsea Highland with us today. Chelsea works at the Annie Russell Theater and also at Staff Comedy Lab. She is the marketing and box office manager at the Annie Russell Theater, which is on Rollins campus. There she connects the Rollins College campus and greater Central Florida community with the historic homes of Rollins developing artists. In addition, she manages patron services, plans and deploys marketing efforts, and mentors students, student employees. She also teaches intro to theater and administration as an adjunct faculty member in the Department of Theater and Dance. By night, she performs with the professional ensemble at the Staff Comedy Lab, an improv theater in downtown Orlando. She has a BA in theater arts and an MBA as well. We are thrilled to have her with us today, and we always love to interact with Chelsea, be it in person or virtually, as we're doing today. Chelsea, I'll go ahead and pass it on over to you. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much, Amy. Uh, it's so good to see some familiar uh, faces out there. Um, uh, this, is my, um, this is my first virtual improv class, so I'm really glad that you're here. Um, if you've gone through Leadership Winter Park in the past few years, you've played improv games with me on Arts and Culture Day. Um, and this afternoon, I want to try some of those games in a virtual setting. And I want to share three lessons with you from the world of improv comedy that I hope will support you in keeping your head on straight uh, during this thing. Um, so, uh, so how do I see that poll? Can I see the results, Amy? Of, of who's, look at this. I just shared them. Are you able to see it, Chelsea? I see it. Okay, so about a fifth of people have been to the Annie, fifth of people have been to both, haven't been to either one yet, and, and about a quarter of y'all have been to SAC Comedy. That's fantastic. Great. Um, very cool. Uh, so for those of you who haven't been to SAC and for those of you who have, I want to start by sharing um, a scene with you. So Tiffany's got a clip um, from the YouTubes and, um, and let's watch a scene together. It's a game called Universal Sign Language and I am the girl in it. Thank <laughs> you. 
you enjoyed that and could hear bits and pieces of it. Uh, fun to hear a big crowd laughing. I miss, miss that. Um, uh, so yeah, that's a little taste of what we do at SAC and some improv comedy. And um, it brings me to the first lesson of improv comedy for getting through a pandemic. And that is give yourself permission to play. Um, I know there's some very real obstacles to feeling playful right now. Uh, for me, I think the biggest obstacle is guilt, feeling like there's so much to worry about. It, it's almost psychotic to, to find, you know, a, a playful tone um, when there's so much going on, so much suffering. Uh, but there's some science to support the notion that we have to find um, moments to play or else, uh, and it's that it's good for us, or else we're gonna we're gonna lose it. So, um, so I wanted to share some of that science with you um, in a book called *The Levity Effect*. And I think Mary, Mary said, "I need some levity." Um, there's a book called *The Levity Effect*. Adrian Gostick and Scott Christopher they argue that levity is a highly effective tool for helping people to work better. That humor helps people pay attention. That it eases tensions. It enhances a feeling of connection. And that's something we need now more than ever. Um, there's a writer and business professor at Stanford, his name is Greg McCowan, and he wrote in a book called Essentialism, the value of play in our lives can't be overstated. Studies from the animal kingdom reveal that play is so crucial to the development of key cognitive skills that it may even play a role in a species survival. Uh, so this professor goes on to talk about a scientist named Bob Fagan. Bob Fagan is a grizzly bear scientist. He spent 15 years up in the trees of Alaska and Western Canada watching bears. And one of his uh, key discoveries was that bears who were the most playful tended to survive the longest. And um, when he asked why, Bob Fagan, grizzly bear scientist said, um, in a world continuously presenting unique challenges and ambiguity, Play prepares these bears for a challenging planet. So play keeps our brains flexible um, 
for a planet that's as challenging as ever. And I hope that you'll use some of that research to give yourself permission to, um, to play and, and goof around a little bit during this thing. Um, so let's play. Um, I've asked Amy to help me with this next part. We're gonna play a game called ABC Story and I need five volunteers. So if you're game to play, if you would type in the chat box that you're up for it, five people are gonna play. We're gonna activate your videos and you're gonna get a number from Amy. So five people, come on. There will be no singing. <laughs> There will be no trust falls. Yes. Kyle! We've got Kyle Roach. Thanks, Kyle. Kyle. We need four more. Yay, Shirley! Shirley, yes. I promise it will be painless. Who else will play? It's going to be fun if you experience any of Chelsea's activities. They're super fun and they are not too scary. I don't know if you have to be on video. I guess you have to be on audio and we have to know your number, right, Amy? Um, yeah, we can try it, Mary. If you don't wanna be on video, we can give it a try. If you have an audio, that works. Okay. Okay. All right, we've got Shirley ready to go. Kyle, hello. Hey guys. Mary. Hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Okay, um, Tiffany and Amy, do you guys want to be, um, you want to be my four and five? Sure. Sure. Who's Winter Park Chamber? That is Carrie. Carrie, will Yay, you play? Carrie. Oh yes, she's in, okay. All and right, Mary, so can you, um, can we, can we hear you, Mary? Yeah, you can do my video. I don't care. I'm just working from home. I'm not dressed up. <laughs> oh, believe me, we yeah, get it. Are. We get it. We get it. Okay, go ahead. Put me on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amy, can you number everyone? Can you make Kyle one, Shirley two? Yes. One and so forth. Perfect. Absolutely. Okay, Kyle. I'm renaming you to one Kyle. So while Amy does that, I'll explain the game. So it's called ABC Story, and we're going to tell a story as one family, and the story will likely be ridiculous and make little sense, and that's the joy of it. Uh, the challenge is that every line of the story has to start with the next letter of the alphabet. So for example, um, Allison woke up late. Person two, breakfast was no longer an option. Person three, coffee spilled all down her dress, she might have to stay home for a month. So that will, uh, that'll be how the game is played. <laughs> and uh, we might not make it all, hi Mary. We hi. might not make it all the way through the, um, the alphabet, but I'll say scene when I feel like we've got a good story. So, uh, so like every good improv, the, and you go in order. So Kyle, Shirley, Tiffany, Mary, Carrie. And Carrie, don't forget to unmute yourself when it's your turn. Um, so to give you a suggestion for this story, I'll, um, I'll suggest, uh, what's, you know, what's something not having to do with quarantine? How about the beach? The story will be inspired by the beach. So Kyle, give us the first line of the story that starts with A. A young man and his father load the cooler for the beach. Before breakfast, they headed out and they had a few challenges along the way during their journey just to get over there. And it was only a 45 minute trip. Yes. Cars were packed on the highway bumper to bumper and it was causing a delay in their journey to the beach. Me? <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it, Mary. Detoured yes. from the beach towards a park. They decided to stop. Perfect. Elephants and tigers in hand <laughs> decided that they would come along for this journey. Mm -hmm. 
furniture was all over the street. Yes. So they decided to take the back road. Goofiness ensued as they decided to get off on, at the playground and play on the equipment. Yes. Um, you got H. Uh, higher, higher, she said as her dad pushed her on the swing. <laughs> um, and Indigenous, uh, Indian <laughs> elephant <Yeah>. was swinging <laughs> its trunk, <laughs> <laughs> and the girl jumped off the swing onto the trunk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, Carrie, bring us home. <laughs> Jam-packed activities. Um, caused <laughs> us to have so much fun on the beach with all the furniture and the tigers. <laughs> and, yeah. Fantastic job. That was truly delightful. I love that we introduced the elephants and then later on the elephants came back and we were swinging on the trunk and that the dad made a reappearance and was pushing on the swing and uh, that was that was so fun um uh that the story that you guys have created and you guys thank you so much give yourselves a round of applause you can go off um you can be free now you can go back to you know your pajamas <laughs> awesome job thank you so much for volunteering um so so uh the story that you created brings me to lesson two of improv comedy for getting through a pandemic and that is accept what comes and build from there. Um, there's this tenet that we share in improv theater, and it might be the, the sort of catchphrase that you've heard before, yes and. Yes, accept what comes, and build from there. So none of us was able, uh, none of you were able to plan ahead with that story, because uh, you didn't know that I was gonna say beach, or that um, we were gonna take a detour to a playground, or that there would be an elephant, or maybe you could do the math and you knew that you would have letter D or letter E, um, but, but that's pretty hard to do and pay attention. Um, so, uh, so it's tough because we're all sitting there and we all have these ideas about what should happen next, but the only way that this game works is if you immediately release those notions about what should happen next and enjoy um, the goofiness um, that is happening in the moment and build on that. Are we at the park? Are there elephants? Um, uh, the furniture, uh, those details, hanging on to those things that are coming up in the moment from your scene partners is the only way to, to successfully play that game and you did. Um, for me, accepting what is and building off of it is the hardest lesson of improv comedy. I am a type A personality. I like to have things ordered. I like to know what to expect. I imagine that many of you are type A because here you are on a Monday at four logged into a chamber webinar to, to better yourself and your experience of quarantine. So I imagine um, that you're a pretty disciplined bunch um, and that uh, the uncertainty of this game made you very nervous. I'm sure, like all of us, the uncertainty of this, um, of this situation makes you very nervous. Uh, but um, when your body is just tenses up from the, all the uncertainty, the way that it does when you're playing this game, I invite you to just enjoy your scene partners, whoever that may be, a family, a phone call with a friend, try to enjoy that moment. Um, and there's some real uh, silliness that can come out of that. Um, cool. Uh, so I want, to, um, I want to play one more game. Um, and this one is called Categories. And I need, um, I need another five people to play if they're game. Uh, we can do audio or video. Um, but this is a game, you're pr probably vaguely familiar with it if you've, if, 
it's sort of kind of a drinking game. It's called categories. I name a category and you name items in the category, but I'm going to tell you how we play it at SAC um, that makes it a little bit more fun. So who might play? You don't have to go on video. You just have to say items in a category. Well, I'll play. Okay, we have Megan who's ready to play. All right. Thanks, Med. Okay, so we got Megan, we got Amy. Do I need to recruit my chamber folks? I think so. Uh, but we can do repeats, right? Who Whoever played before can play again? Yeah, do you mind? No. Kyle, you want to jump back in? Shirley? Mary? Yes. All right, Shirley? Yes! Carrie, yes. Thank you, Carrie. Yay. Amazing. Even so the way that this game is played, um, we play it at the start of shows at SAC Comedy Lab, and we say that it's a decider, that we're going to decide who goes first by playing this game. And it really doesn't matter who goes first, and the points don't matter, uh, but we like to create this sense of excitement um, by saying that it matters. So we play categories and the members of the team stand up and the host points at them, which I will be doing virtually by saying your name. And when the host points at you, you have to name an item in the category. So for example, uh, breakfast cereals, you're naming the breakfast cereals. If we get to you and you can't think of a breakfast cereal, I wanna invite you to say any other word, look around the room, name an item in the room, name some image in your mind, um, but I want you to try and say something, even if it does not fall into the category of breakfast cereals. Um, uh, and I'll tell you more after we play. So, uh, so the let's start with that. The category is going to be breakfast cereals. It has to be random. Kyle, don't forget to unmute yourself. Um, and I will call your name, and you'll name a breakfast cereal. And if you run out, say literally anything else. So breakfast cereals. Ready? Shirley. Lucky Charms. Megan. Um, Host Selects. Mary. Wheaties. Tiffany. Frosted Flakes. Carrie. Rice Krispies. Kyle. Captain Crunch. Amy. Cheerios. Megan. A cinnamon Toast Crunch. Shirley. Raisin Bran. Mary. Frosted Flakes. Tiffany. Fruit Loops. Kyle. Cookie Crisp. Carrie. Um, so, checks, checks mix. Amy. <laughs> Special K. Shirley. Fruit, oh, that was it. Cocoa Puffs. Megan. Uh, Cocoa Krispies. Kyle. Cheerios. Oh, it's a repeat. Oh. Our first repeat. I cannot believe it. That was very impressive. We're going to play again. Sit tight. Um, lesson three of improv for a global pandemic is to go easy on yourself and to go easy on each other. Um, this is not business as usual. And I get that we're, we're all trying to be strong and we're trying to, um, you know, keep it together for our, for our clients and our employees and our kids. Um, but if you are in a, in a position to invite a moment of honesty and vulnerability into someone's day, I think now more than ever is the time to do that. Um, check in on each other, admit how hard this is, I think, um, over and over and over again. Um, uh, <laughs> we say in improv that it's all about embracing failure. Improv is fun to watch because of the um, distinct possibility that someone is going to mess up. Um, that's what that's what makes it exciting, that someone's not gonna know what to say, that they're gonna say something weird or wrong, that a mistake's gonna be made and they're gonna have to navigate it from there. Um, otherwise, you would just go watch like an Arthur Miller play, you know, um, and, uh, and that's what makes improv fun. So I would invite you to enjoy the failure, um, uh, to, to play hard and to, um, and to go easy on yourself when you mess up and enjoy it. So let's play one more time. We're gonna go really fast this round to invite more failure into our day. Um, so let me get, uh, let me get another category. 
Um, this time I want you to name um, businesses in businesses in Winter Park. Can we do that? Let's let's give it a go. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, why not? And remember, if you can't think of something, fail spectacularly. Name some um, item in your room or say something, say anything, because that's that's what we want to watch is failure. So, uh, but we also want to see you succeed if you can. So let's name the um, the Winter Park businesses. Ready? Carrie. Um, the Partridge Tree. Shirley. 310. Mary. Goonies. Megan. Park Smiles Dentistry. Kyle. Luma. Tiffany. Grotto. Amy. Winter Park Chamber. Mary. <laughs> um, Fiddler's, Fiddler's. Green Dad, Carrie. <laughs> Dear Jane. Shirley. Four Rivers. Megan. Mm. Rollins College. Kyle. Ravenous Pig. Tiffany. Keller Williams. Jamie. Uh, the Farmer's Market. Does that Carrie. count? Panera Bread. Megan. Uh, Talbots. Kyle. Baron Peacock. Mary. Bay Bays. Gosh, you guys are too <laughs> good. I'm very impressed. I'm very, there's no, there's no failure here. This is all hard. just wildly successful. Um, that's awesome, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. You can be free. You can mute yourself. Say weird thank things you, again. Chelsea. My pleasure. Uh, so I do encourage you to take these um, back to your quarantine teams and, um, and do some ABC story, do play some categories with them. I invite you to, um, to remember the three lessons of improv comedy that are applicable for a global pandemic. Number one, give yourself permission to play because it's good for your brain. It's good for species survival. So don't feel guilty when you're able to find moments of levity in your day. Option number two, uh, lesson number two, accept what comes and build from there. If you had a story about um, how, you know, we were gonna build a sandcastle, too bad, because we're at a park and there's elephants there. And that's a beautiful thing. So enjoy the elephants and enjoy the park. Uh, lesson number three, go easy on yourself, go easy on each other, celebrate the spectacular failures in our days. <laughs> uh, because my Lord knows there's, there's, um, there's a number of them. And, uh, and that's, that's what makes improv exciting. And to an extent, it's what makes life exciting. So um, stay well. It was, uh, it was fun playing with you guys. My very first virtual improv class. Learned a lot. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys participating and just listening in. Chelsea, thank you so much for taking on this challenge of doing an interactive improv class. Um, I tried. I, I am so glad we did. I think you always bring up such amazing points and connect them to the things that we're going through. And I think more now than ever, we need to follow your three rules and you know, be present, adapt to failure, um, and embrace this crazy world that we're living in. So yeah, thank if you, you figure out so how, you just, you let me know. But I like the idea <laughs> of it. Let's all keep striving for it together. So we try, and I love the idea of just embracing the play and um, just doing the best we can through navigating through these challenging times. So thank you so much for taking the time. Um, that was so much fun. And thank you to those on the call, especially the Winter Park Chamber team members that jumped in to participate. I know it's scary to participate on a webinar, but y'all did it. So thank you so much. Um, we are thrilled to have some exciting upcoming webinars. I'd love to go over some of the new things that are happening in the coming week at the Chamber. Um, tomorrow, we are launching an exciting new initiative, which is called our Key Connect Group. We've been hearing that people want to continue connecting um, sim in similar ways that we used to be able to do physically in our chamber building, we're going to start doing virtually. So we'll be having Key Connect groups that encompass a specific industry um, so you can connect 
and um, chat with people in a similar industry to you and talk about how you are navigating through this pandemic. Um, these will be groups that will continue in the future as well um, in a physical capacity sometime. Um, but tomorrow, if you're part of the housing industry in any way, if you talk to the housing industry, we invite you to join our Key Connect group. That will be happening at 2 p.m. And what we'll do is we'll send you in a link if you'd like to sign up in the follow-up email that you'll receive. And we'd love to have you join us for some of our future webinars. Tomorrow, we'll have a Q&A about our relaunch program. We're excited to share that we have a version of our relaunch program uh, that we're offering for free starting next week. And that's a program that prepares women that have taken a break from work to head back. We know that now more than ever, the community needs that resource. And so we're excited to um, share that with our community. On Wednesday, we will have an important webinar on the accounting and tax implications of the CARES Act as well as the SBA loan programs. We'll have certified CPAs um, with Witham, Smith, and Brown on to help you navigate those very important and challenging topics. And on Thursday, um, definitely be sure to tune in. We're going to have Sean Smith of UCF Institute for Economic Forecasting talk, in, talk about the actual impact COVID-19 has had on Orange County. So looking at the closure of Disney, Universal, and so many changes to our business community, uh, we're going to start to understand a bit about what that means for our economy. So we encourage you to join in, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and always be sure to check our winterparks.org website for further information. Chelsea, once again, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Amy and the rest of the Chamber team, thank you for joining. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone. <laughs>